royal chef who has prepared food for many members of the royal family says he wouldn't roll the red carpet out for the Duchess of Sussex. Celebrated royal chef Richard Corrigan doesn't appear keen on the idea of slaving away over a hot stove for Meghan. Mr Corrigan has cooked for the Queen as well as other royals, many free of charge. But the owner of Mayfair restaurant Spentley's and Corrigan's told Richard Eden, Daily Mail's diary editor, some will have to pay. The chef said, I cooked for the Queen free of charge, of course. And I'll cook for anyone, but let me just say, some people will have to pay. The acclaimed chef, who also previously acted as a guest cook on the southwest round of the Great British Menu, has reportedly cooked for the Queen twice. However, he said he wouldn't deny the Duchess entrance to his restaurants. He said, I'd let her in the restaurant, for sure, but the Queen had the red carpet rolled out. Would Meghan? I don't think so. Sharing a screenshot of his conversation with the Irish chef, Mr. Reedon tweeted, Hashtag Royal Chef Richard Corrigan says he wouldn't roll out the red carpet for the Duchess of Sussex hashtag Meghan. However, it may not be an issue as Prince Harry and Meghan are reportedly unlikely to return to the UK anytime soon. Recent reports state that Prince Harry will not return home to attend a service dedicated to his late grandfather this month. The decision, which has reportedly been made by the Royal, was tweeted by Omid Scobie, the author of Finding Freedom. He tweeted, a spokesperson for the Sussexes confirms that Prince Harry will not be returning to the UK for the service of thanksgiving for the life of Prince Philip on March 29. He does, however, hope to visit the Queen as soon as possible. The Sussexes have been told they will not receive the same degree of security as other royals should they make the trip home from the US. Prince Harry has said he doesn't feel safe returning to the UK with his family without the protection he seeks. Meghan Markle has become one of the most talked about women in the world since she was first romantically linked to Prince Harry. While many of her fans thought that her marriage to the Duke of Sussex would be a happy ever after, things have completely turned upside down for the former Suits actress after she has been receiving condemnations and disparagements from her critics and the British media. The ceaseless criticisms of the media have taken a toll on Meghan Markle's mental health that she, together with Prince Harry, decided to step back from her senior royal duties and live away from the UK initially, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex cited their desire to become financially independent from the firm as the main reason behind their shocking Megxit. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle joined the rest of the royal family for the Commonwealth Day service in 2020 which was their final engagement together as royals. Weeks before the event, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made the bombshell announcement they would be quitting as senior royals and leaving the UK. For the service, the Duchess memorably rocked a vibrant green Emilia Wickstead cape dress that started blowing in the wind as she left the Abbey. And according to Christine Ross, the editor of the blog Meghan's Mirror, Meghan used the dress to send a secret but powerful message. She believes that it was a clear signal to the designer and to the people who claim the two women had a complicated relationship. Speaking previously on the Mirror's royal podcast Pod Save the Queen, she said, that cape blowing in the wind as she walked into the church and then walked out of the church, which was such an emotional moment for so many people as it was their last formal engagement as royals. That green dress will stand out in history books I think. Green dress will stand 